Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. My name is Peter Oluwoch, a stock market research and investor. I'm in Kisumu, just enjoying life and having a good time here by the lakeside. Recording the video and listening to the birds of the air as they make their noise and their sounds and their squeaking of the birds, I think, or chirping of the birds, whichever works best for you. Today's topic is this. I'm still on spending. Controlling your expenditure part two and more so on shopping Most of us lose money We spend away money that is not even necessary You have 10 dresses you want to add an 11th dress You have 10 shoes you want to add another shoe You have five watches you want to add another watch You have 10 shirts you want to add another shirt Ask yourself is it necessary? Is it necessary? Before you buy anything, ask yourself, is it necessary? I'm reading a book by Jean Chucky. She's an American financial planner, guiding people on the issues of savings and investing and things like that. Before you spend money on anything, ask yourself, is it necessary? You already have 10 shirts. Why don't you wear the other 9 or the other 10? Why do, you add, why do you need to add the 11th one? You already have 10 dresses. Why do you need the 11th one? Can't you wear the other 10? You already have shoes. Why do you need another one? Can't you already wear the ones you have? Before you buy anything, ask yourself, is it necessary? And now, in most cases, you'll discover it is not necessary. You are just adding more and more stuff into your closet you're adding more and more stuff which is not even necessary so then what do you need to do that money that you've stopped spending send it to your stock broker send it to your cds account buy shares buy safaricom shares buy cop bank shares buy bat shares buy shares why do you need to buy shares for one thing at the end of the year you'll be given dividends there is dividends at the end of the year and also, there is what we call capital gains. The price of the Safaricom shares will go up and then you gain, you make profit. So ladies and gentlemen, before you spend money, ask yourself, is it necessary? Can you avoid it? Can you do without it? If you don't buy it, will the world end? Hmm? Will the world come to an end because you've not bought an extra shoe? Will the world come to an end because you've not bought an extra shirt? Will the world come to an end because you've not bought an extra bag, for example? Some of these things we buy, they are unnecessary and they are a waste of our money. The money that we desperately need to invest, the money that we desperately need to save, they are being wasted by unnecessary expenditure. And Jean Chucky in her book says that for each item that we are buying, we need to ask ourselves, is it necessary? Is it necessary? For each item, you need to ask yourself, is it necessary? If it's not necessary, then I want you to rank it. Is it high priority? Is it medium priority? Is it low priority? Everything you are buying, ask yourself, is it necessary? If it is necessary, ask yourself, is it high priority? If it's not high priority, is it medium priority? Things that are low priority, you can do without. But things that are high priority, like your health care, that is high priority. Food, high priority. Transport for going to work, high priority. There are some things you can't do without. But there are many things you can do without. So those many things you can do without, you're as good as well avoiding them. Stop wasting money on them. Save that money. Invest that money. Grow that money. And live a comfortable life. Thank you. If you are new here, please subscribe. If you are not in our Telegram group, by the way, I invite you to our Telegram group. That's where we discuss the stock market and cryptocurrency and compounding money every day times 365 days times 10 years. We have given ourselves a period of 10 years for us to be all multi-millionaires. Thank you. Bye-bye. See you in the next video.